Okay, let me try not to dox myself here. Welcome back everybody to another mail day. I've got a bunch of different packages here that I've been waiting to open up for quite a while, actually about a month now. We've got all sorts of things in these packages from Force of Will cards that I happen to find and come across that I wanna to add to the collection to new different things, including more Glios figures. It's gonna be a good time and I'm excited to finally open these up since I just took my time actually getting to them. So if you have interest in all the nerdy things I collect and all the things I add to my crazy collection back here on the wall, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It tells me that you guys have interest and that I can do more of these in the future. Let me know in the comments too if you want to see more in the future and what kind of things you enjoy me opening up on the mail days. That being said, I'm very excited to get into these things. We've got some exclusives from God Beast from conventions. We've got the brand new wave that just came out of the Geodraxis. Those look amazing and I'm glad I finally caught one of their new waves. More additions to my skeleton collection that'll go on the Glio shelf back there. This thing is turning out crazy. There's a, a lot I have to compact and rearrange on this thing still because I have a lot more figures that are just sitting down below the shelf that I haven't even put up yet. And some Force of Will stuff. We got some awesome look looking promo cars and just some awesome looking like uber rares that were on sale. So I'll grab those as quickly as I could. You're talking too much. You're repeating yourself. All right, let's get these things open. Packages. Let's open these things. Now, some of these, I don't even really like remember what's in them. Again, I know like I got some force will cards, got some Glio stuff like that, but I don't remember what package is what. So this should be interesting to find out. And this is cards for sure. I'm going to try to open it carefully if I can and see what we got in this one without again don't want to show my address off and I didn't I usually with these mail days try to take my like the tags off with the addresses so I don't have to worry about it but I didn't do it for this video so we're just going to have to be extra careful while I open up these packages and if you see blurridge on a package it's because I don't want you to get me doxxed or myself doxxed I don't want to dox myself so let's do this thing Oh, did I open it? Oh, ooh, all right. Some Force of Will promo cards. And this is not the only one in here. So let's get these guys out. Somehow the tape on these things sometimes is ridiculous. Oh, this thing is loaded up. I like it. All right, so this is a promo card. I believe this was for a tournament or something. Now I love this card. He's Drazil. Oh my gosh, Heroic Spirit of the World Tree. Beautiful, beautiful card. And this, it's usually, I think it's got like this kind of tealish, greenish blue, if I can remember right. So they switched it up and did this like pink variant of her. And it looks phenomenal. Looks super cool. So we'll take her out of the way here. Let's see what else we got behind her. Ah, Valentina, owner of the theater. Very cool. Now this one is a card from Rebirth of Legend. And they switched it up and they gave her this little cute uniform with this insane looking hat which is hilarious this is another promo card and i believe it is for like the uh, monthly like tournaments that people would run i think they would give these out a couple each to each store for a nice incentive for people to win at the tournaments and stuff like that so this is one of those that kind of comes out on a monthly basis and then all right so i got a couple uber rares just because they were cheap and i was like why not I'll knock a few off my checklist. You can barely see this one though. So let's look at it in a second. We've got Sylph Envoy of Wind. Okay, I didn't order this. So this is a bonus. That is an awesome looking one. It's from a pre-release party. R3 pre-release party. Dang. All right, very cool extra. This holographic is insanity. Look at that. That's insane. A really cool bonus piece. I love it. Thank you. Let's see if we can try to look at this Uber Rare. And there's actually one more Uber Rare in here. So we've got our little Draconic Warrior, Kirik. And this is from Time Spinning Witch. A very cool looking card, but again, hard to see. Look at that. I can barely see it here. That's crazy. This. A very cool Uber. It was cheap. And then another one. <laughs> a classic one from ADK, which is Advent of the Demon King. A very cool Tataris or Tatargarius, whatever. Pearl Shine, our classic panda Pearl Shine, Lord of the Mountain as an Uber Rare. Now, again, I got these because I'm just like, I don't know how often I'm going to be going back to these sets and searching and for me to search and to find the Uber Rare. It's kind of hard and ridiculous. So here's the flip sides. Kirik or Kirik, Rarik, however you want to say it, and Targaris Pearlshine, 
very, very cool cards. The actual uber rares from them. And I guess these are what you'd call the more common of the rare uber rares <laughs> from those sets. Because they were only like five bucks, which is kind of crazy. But that's why I was like, okay, I'll take it. And of course, I had to show off my nice little secret rare from the latest set. If you haven't watched that video yet of how I pulled this thing, it's insane. Go check out A New World Emerges Booster Cracking. It's super fun. Awesome set. I've been loving it. And look for another one this Sunday. We're going to be opening up a brand new box of A New World Emerges and searching for more of these secret rares. So stay tuned for that and subscribe. All right, next pack, let's do, let's uh, switch it up. Let's go Galios time. And I believe I know what this is. I just looked at the package and I know who this is from. So let's pull it out and I'll kind of explain what this figure is. And let me get this bag out of the way. Ba -ba -ba Bam, I'll check him out. Looking sweet. This is the God Beast Mushi, the PowerCon exclusive. And he had some extra, only a few that he had remaining from the PowerCon. And so he put them up on the store. He gave me a early link to him to make sure I could secure one of these guys. So thank you very much. I appreciate that, Marty. And this guy is super cool. So a nice exclusive one from the convention. I probably will open him, but I'm going to just leave him sealed for now in case I change my mind. I probably will open him and display him, though. He is super cool. I love the the nice little design of him in the red with the black and gray. It looks really sharp and a nice little exclusive, which makes me want to keep him sealed. But I've got my Glio shelf going and, you know, I can't help it. I want to display these suckers. I don't want them in a box doing nothing. Sitting in plastic. That's lame. Next package. Let's see it. What do we got in here? I think we got more cards. Let's see. Try not to show anything here. I got my receipt. Oh man, they really went to town on shipping this thing. This is crazy looking. All right, let's uh, crack this sucker open. Is there anything in here? No, they just used it for sealing the already sealed nice little hard shell case here. So let's pop these suckers out and let's reveal the card inside. Oh my goodness gracious me. I saw this card recently on TCG Player and I was blown away. Angel of False Life. Oh my gosh, it's a World Grand Prix promo card. And it's it, I, it hasn't been on TCG Player a lot or very rarely because people, I guess, just, you know, there's not a lot of these out there from the, you know, World Prix or whatever. And this is just such a beautiful card. My gosh, it's wonderful. I love this card so much. The artist, artist, give me the artist. Nakabi Hiraguchi, if I say that right, hopefully I, I came a little close, but this is incredible. Utterly incredible. I love the way this card looks. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Come on. That is just a wonderful promo. Gladly adding this one because it is just it's so cool. Even just standing. Oh, man. The poppage on this foiling too. Oh, baby. It earns a place next to the secret rare. Secret rares are cool, but this is definitely better artwork. All right, let's do some more Goliaths. We're just going to tear into this one a little bit, and I'll pull all the juiciness out. Oh, my goodness. So much juiciness. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is my skeleton lot, and let's go over it, man. This is so cool. We got so many different flavors of skeletons, ones I haven't even seen before, these kind of muted colors. We got this, like, pink and like dark umber red going on with this skeleton. Looks amazing. I like it a lot. It almost looks like one that would be a great one for like a base uh, for doing some custom work on. So kind of why I wanted to grab it. And also I'm just trying to collect like all of them if I can. Let's check out the other one though. Look at this. This is the non-painted one of that pink. That is crazy cool. Look at that. That's the perfect base right there. So you've already seen how it would look normal. And then we've got the nice unpainted version, which is equally awesome. I love snagging these. You don't see the unpainted very often for the skeleton, so a really good find. What other ones we got here? Let's go into this one. We got kind of like this classic Glios off-white with brown. And I'm gonna have the names of these guys because I can't, I can't remember the names of all of these dudes. But a really sharp one. I like it. It's simple. It's sweet. It's got the skeleton vibes with that kind of bonish color. I like it a lot. And then we got this blueberry guy here. We got this blueberry flavor going on. Look at this. Kind of similar to that pink and red, except we got the blue on blue. 
with that dark blue, with that light blue. Super, super cool figures. I can't wait to put him on the shelf. He's going to look really sharp against some of the backgrounds and stuff. A really cool blue one. And the only other blue one I have is kind of like that translucent one. So this is nice just to have the nice plain Jane one. Again, really cool find. And I've like never seen him before this blue. So a really nice one to get for me. And this one. Now I've seen this one around and I've been looking for it for a while because this guy is phenomenal, man. And I'm gonna have to get him out because like, holy crap, he's there's so much detail on him. It's not just like the color base. So let's open him up. Let's check this bad boy out. He looks so Freaking sweet, add in the axe here really quick. He's like a freaking swamp thing skeleton. He's got this awesome green and the highlights in his armor just look amazing. Absolutely stunning. Let's get a closer look with the light here. Like my goodness, does that look cool or what? Such an awesome skeleton. I got this from a friend, a friend of mine's friend, basically who just had a ton of these skeletons to sell. So. I snagged a few that I could, and I was very lucky to get this guy because you do not see him often. People don't like selling this one, and for good reason, obviously, because look at how freaking dope he is. He just looks amazing. He looks so freaking cool. I love the paint job on him. It almost looks like a full-on custom paint, but it's not. We got the little head there too, but it's just a simple head. Nothing too crazy going on there. All right, let's do my last little card one, and then we'll open up... Another Glyos one, which has some brand new products in it. Oh, oh, what was this? What did I get? Is this Pokemon? Oh my goodness, I don't even remember what I bought. It was so long ago. Okay, it's Pokemon. Oh my goodness, I can't even remember what I'm getting. Oh, I know what this is. All right, nothing too crazy, but I do like picking up the graded cards when I find a good deal. And I did not pay much for this guy, so there he is. We got Blues Tactics from Sun and Moon. Unified Minds, a Gem Mint 10 Full Art Trainer Blue Tactics. Oh man, uh, I just gotta, gotta show off some of my other graded ones that I've got next to me. In case you didn't see it yet, this will be making an appearance in the new Force of Will video coming up this Sunday. Make sure to subscribe. Zero, the Flashing Mage Warrior, Force of Will, a Nine Mint. Oh yeah, okay, I just had to show that off because I love Force of Will. Gotta give credit where credit's due, but... I do also love collecting full art trainers and blue tactics is super sick. I love the hollow on this. And I got, like I said, I got a steal, a steal. I think I paid like, what, I, what did I pay? 20 bucks for this guy? 20 bucks for a graded gem mint 10 unified minds, blue tactics, full art trainer. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Super, super cool. I don't have many tens because I usually just buy my graded stuff. I haven't turned anything in to get graded yet. I will eventually, because I have a lot that I would love to get graded, especially some of my nice Force of Will stuff, obviously. But this is a really cool one to find. And again, if you can snag these at a decent price, it's kind of worth it. Saves you all the trouble of having to send it in and pay for shipping and all that nonsense. So a really good find for me. Okay, last one, and we will wrap this up. This is the brand new, if I can get this open, this is the brand new Geodraxis Wave that just came out uh, about a month ago now. Again, that's how long these boxes have been sitting. So it's been a minute, but I snagged a bunch of these guys because I love the Geodraxis stuff. So we're gonna take a look at how these guys look. Let's get it out here. Oh my goodness. And let's see what kind of goodies we've got. Oh my, yes. First up, their little mainstay guy here. Looks amazing. Let's get him out. He's worth it. Check that dude out. He's so cool, man. Look at the quality on this guy. I love his color choices too. This yellow and this black looks simply amazing and awesome. I love this guy to death, man. He's so cool. So I definitely uh, had to get myself two of them and again the name of these guys would have been on the bottom already at this point uh i don't remember the names because i can't keep track of all the glass guys i get anymore but he's so cool i'm so glad i can get more of these i missed the last spaced out design wave it was again like i missed all the waves uh when i started joining glios everybody had a wave that dropped and i missed it so i got to get this wave and it's super cool let's check out some of the other ones since these this isn't all i got i also got two of these bad boys kind of the base yellow orangish going around that we got here but these are just that pure translucent goodness gracious me these guys look so sick adjust that light let's get a real good shot on these dudes 
see if we can get the little glow going. There we go. Check that out. Oh yeah, these guys are sick. Okay, to the side. We got a couple more here. First up, we kind of got the smoke one, and I always like these smoke characters. Let's get away from that glare. There he is. He's kind of like that gray, translucent black. So cool looking. I think, uh, am I gonna keep him in the package? I don't know. Uh, we can get him out. Let's get him out, come on. You can definitely see him better now, that's for sure, with that kind of dark color scheme he's got. It's kind of hard to see, but there he is. He's kind of that, like that smoke thing going on. Super cool, super sharp. Uh, I got this guy because I think he's going to be awesome to combine with other parts, especially like that translucent orange that you guys just saw. I think customizing with this one, it just is going to look really cool. You know, you can do something similar kind of to this guy back here, except with like an all translucent effect. I think it would look really sweet. And then we got one more guy here. It's kind of similar to one of the Geodraxis I already got before. It's kind of like this frost kind of vibe, but not quite frost. It's just... Got this really cool, awesome, it's kind of like a smoky blue translucent, kind of ice vibe still, but not quite the same. The other one had kind of like more of a frost go around for it, but this one is just like that kind of Gatorade blue, that awesome cool ice Gatorade blue, man. And he looks sharp too. I really like it. Even him, even him mixing with this guy would look really sick, I think. I mean, these guys are just awesome. I love the Geodraxis line. Spaced out design, you did a fantastic job with these guys. I really, really dig your products. And if you guys like them too, again, make sure to support Spaced Out Design. They do an awesome job. Link will be in the little descriptor here. So make sure to go check them out. They do have some of these guys left from the wave, uh, but they don't have all of them. They don't have some of these base ones. So go check them out while you can, because they definitely deserve the attention with these they're really really sharp well there it is those are all the packages i had for today a kind of nice sporadic assortment of different nerdy things that i collect i love that i've been getting more of the force of will stuff because i haven't gotten just single cards in quite a while since i do so many openings uh, and it's always nice to get my glios but i've slowed down on purchasing them as well so it was cool to kind of save up and do another opening with you guys Hopefully you enjoyed it because these so cool. I love this stuff. And that's it for today. Just a little bit of a shorter mail day video today because I have been trying my best to not blow my bank account and buy everything possible. In fact, I just missed the last God Beast wave, which was unfortunate because there were some really cool purple figures that you should definitely go check out if they have any more available, but they're a little bit too expensive and uh, half of them sold out right away actually which was unfortunate so i'll get it on the next one or maybe i'll pick up some of the ones from another party or something but we'll see but if you like seeing some of the force of will promo cards i do get those occasionally and if you like seeing that get opened up uh, i will you know in the future save those for more mail days so let me know in the comments below if you enjoy just opening up different types of products on these mail days and yeah make sure to subscribe make sure to leave a like i appreciate all the support and we will see you guys in the next video.